हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैव एन डन इट एट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्राम चैप्टर फाइव एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट डिटर्मिन द रिएक्शन एट द सपोर्ट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिएक्शन एट दिस पॉइंट ए एंड बी सो एट पॉइंट ए वी हैव द रोलर सपोर्ट सो एट रोलर सपोर्ट वी विल हैव ओनली वन रिएक्शन दैट इज इन दी अपर डायरेक्शन एंड एट बी वी विल हैव टू सपोर्ट रिएक्शन लेट से B X and B Y, and the beam is subjected to the distributed load, which has a uniform uh, distribution of eight hundred newton per meter. So the resultant of this eight hundred newton per meter is going to act at the geometric center of this rectangular area. And that the magnitude of the resultant will be equal to the area covered by this. so we can say that let's say that the resultant of this 800 newton uh, per meter distributed force is let's say r so then that will be equal to the area which is 800 this height multiplied by this length so 800 newton per meter multiplied by the length of the beam which is not given so we have to find the length of the beam we are given this uh, dimension and we are given this dimension this dimension is 3 meters and this is 4 meters so the length of the beam will be uh, by applying the pythagoras theorem we can say that the length of the beam will be l square equals to 3 square plus uh, plus this 4 square 3 plus 1 this is 4 so this is 4 square and if i take the square root then we will get the length of the beam so length of the beam is 5 meters this is the uh, square root this is 3 square Plus four square, so this gives us five meters. So the length of the beam is five meters. So now the resultant of this distributed load along the length of the beam will be the area of this. This is eight hundred newton per meter multiplied by the length. Now the length is five meters. So I will multiply this with five meters. Meter will cancel out, so we will get the resultant in newtons. So eight hundred into five is. Four thousand. This is eight hundred multiplied by five. This gives us four thousand. So R is equal to four thousand newton. Now that resultant will be acting somewhere here. That is at the um, the line of action of this resultant will pass through the centroid of this uh, triangular uh, rectangular load distribution. so this uh, r must pass through the mid length of the beam so this length must be equals to 2.5 so now let's mention that uh, resultant here let's say this is acting somewhere here this is that r which is equal to 4000 newton and it is acting at a distance of this distance is from point b this distance is 2.5 since the length of the beam is 5 meters and at a we have the roller support so this is let's say point a so here we will have the um roller support let's say here we will have r a or let's say we have a, a reaction a y let's say and at b we have let's say b x and b y and let's say this is my positive x and positive y direction so now to find this ay to find this ay we can apply the summation of moment about point b that must be equals to 0 if this beam is in equilibrium so by doing so we will we will eliminate both of these unknowns so if i apply the summation of the moment about point b this must be equals to 0 then the counter clockwise moment is assumed to be positive So now, as we can see, that this A Y is producing the clockwise moment about that point B. Here we have that point B, and here we have that point A. So this A Y is producing the clockwise moment. So I will write A Y, and the perpendicular distance of this A Y from that point B is this distance, and this distance is three meters. So we can say that this A is at a distance of three meters. from point b so this 3 meters is the perpendicular distance of this ay or in other words we can say that this is the moment arm of this ay for finding the moment about point b so we have to multiply this ay with 3 
and it's it is going it is producing the moment in the clockwise direction so we have to put minus sign since the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive so this is a y into three and this resultant is producing the counterclockwise moment about point b so i will write plus for counterclockwise this is 4000 multiplied by the perpendicular distance of this resultant from that point b is 2.5 so we will multiply it with 2.5 so this is 2.5 and this is equal to zero so now from this we can say that minus a y into 3 is equal to minus 4000 into 2.5 dividing both sides by minus 3 so this minus and my three will cancel out and this minus will cancel out so we will get a y a y will be equal to is 4000 into 2.5 divided by 3 so this gives us 3333 so 3333.33 newton this is a y now to find bx and by we have to resolve this resultant along the x and y direction so now we are this beam is the length of this beam is making some angle with the horizontal and let's say that that angle is let's say angle theta here we have this some angle theta here so we have this some angle here theta as well so now if i if i draw a uh vertical line here let's say so this vertical line is going to be perpendicular with the horizontal line if we have some horizontal line here and this r is perpendicular with this beam so this green line is perpendicular with the horizontal line and this r is perpendicular with this line so if the angle between these two lines the horizontal line and this line is theta then the angle between r and this line is theta so we can say that the resultant r is making some angle theta here with the vertical so now we can resolve this r into its components so we will have uh, here we will have the cost component and here we will have the let me remove this 2.5 now so this one this is the uh, r y and this is r x the x and y components of the resultant so r y since the angle is made with r y we have the angle with the vertical so r y is the cos component we can say that this is r cos of theta and similarly r x is r sine of theta now the inclination of the beam is given in terms of the dimensions in terms of this dimension and this dimension since we are given that uh, this end of the beam is at a distance of four meters from this point uh, in, in the horizontal direction and this distance the vertical dimension is three meters so the inclination is given in terms of these two so now we can if i draw a if i draw a right angle triangle let's say from this and then from here we can say that this length is this length is given this is four and this length is given this is 3 so we can consider this as a right angle triangle and the length of the beam is 5 right we can say that the length of the beam uh, this length is 5 we know so we can find that angle theta so now sine of theta from this right angle triangle is we can say that sine of theta let me write it here sine of theta is equal to the perpendicular so this perpendicular is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5 the length of the beam so sine of theta is 3 divided by 5 similarly cos of theta is base divided by hypotenuse so the base is 4 and the hypotenuse is 5 so this is 4 divided by 5 so now if i apply the summation of forces along x that must be equals to 0 since the beam is in equilibrium so the summation of forces along x this must be equals to zero and towards the right is our positive x direction so now as we can see that this bx is acting in the positive x this is plus bx minus this rx which is r sine of theta so i will write minus 
and the r magnitude is 4000 and sine of theta is 3 divided by 5 so r sine of theta is equal to 4000 into 3 divided by 5 so this is 4000 into 3 divided by 5 this is equal to 0 and from this we can say that vx is equal to 4000 into 3 divided by 5 so 4000 into 3 divided by 5 this gives us 2400 so bx is 2400 newton similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y that must be equals to zero the summation of forces along y this must be equals to zero and this is the positive y direction so now as we can see that uh, the, this a y is acting in the upward direction so we will write plus and a y magnitude is now known which is 300 and uh, 3333 so 3333.33 then we have this r y which is r cos of theta so r is 4000 and cos of theta is 4 divided by 5 so 4000 into 4 divided by 5 so and that is acting in the negative y direction so we will write minus 4000 into 4 divided by 5 and then we have this by this by is acting in the negative y so we will write minus by and this is equal to zero now if i bring this by to the other side of equation so we can say that, uh, that this is equal to b y so now 3333.33 3, 3, minus 4000 into 4 divided by 5 this gives us by equals to 133.33 newtons so the result uh, the the reaction at point b that is the pin joint at point b uh, in the horizontal direction is 2400 newton and in the vertical direction is 133.33 newton and the result uh, the the reaction at point A is Ay, which is equal to 3,333.33 newtons, which is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also, like and subscribe my channel uh, if you find my content very helpful to your learning.